man, that's, that's light. If you don't mind, could you put backpacks on the floor? Thank you. That didn't feel like 54 pounds, man. Unless I didn't got strong in the last 24 hours. Yeah, but I'm it says that. It says, it says, look, it says pick up in three minutes. Yeah, man. That, and I was like, you can't go by that thing. I know. And then it's always telling you to go down to like. I walk out there and it's like, go to Zone Eleven. I'm like, oh, my yeah. I, I, I saw where you were. I, I, Your location is on the map. So. Yeah, that's why I'm always like. I just go to the first blue area and You know, a lot of people don't even get that and they be walking out. I'm like, I, yeah. you should have stayed where you were. Yeah. I got to go all the way around now. I'm like, I saw where you were. I don't know. Come on, young man. How was your flight, man? It was good. Yeah. This home? Uh-huh. Okay. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't look like a Texan, though. <laughs> How long you been here? Uh, wow. More than 10 years? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. For that, uh, far northeast Alabama. Oh, okay. Up in the Appalachian Mountains. Appalachian, yeah. Maybe you, you've already always been in Dallas? Yeah, man. Born and raised here. Really? Where'd you go to high school? Uh, I went to Wormer Hutchins. Yeah. They I, went, I went to Lake Highlands. Oh, you went to Lake Highlands? Mm -hmm. Wormer Hutchins sucked, dude. I mean, <laughs> it was terrible. I, I I I wasn't a school person anyway. Yeah. You know, like, I, I've never been a follower my whole life. So, my, it, it used to drive my parents crazy because <laughs> when the teachers start talking about history, I was like, man. It ain't true. <laughs> well, I was like, yeah, but it's I history guess, in the past. Yeah, you know? I'm like, man, that's I'm looking forward. That's crap. That's a lot. That stuff ain't happened like that. Yeah, all I cared about was the rules of playing football. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was spoiled. I had a, when I was in high school, I had three cars. I had a Mustang GT. Oh, wow. I had a uh, 72 Monte Carlo. That was fully restored, and I had a uh, one of those B twenty two hundred pickups trucks, the little small mini trucks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have anything like that. I wasn't a sports guy, but I played sports. I think my freshman year I played football, but I wasn't I wasn't that into it. I was, you know, I wasn't even that into it, man. I played cornerback, but it wasn't it wasn't a big deal to me. Yeah, yeah. I had to get a scholarship if I was going to go to college. I got you, yeah. So what you, what'd you go to, to college at? Um, University of North Texas. Oh, you went to North Texas. Man, I just dropped off one of your alumni, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. I remember the coaches, they would, uh, I was, I went as a strong safety. Yeah. And a punter and a kicker. Okay. And then I get there. We're doing all these, like, you know, testing and all this stuff yeah yeah and so this defensive end comes out he's like six four like ten percent body fat yeah he runs a four six forty wow. i ran like a four six five and i'm supposed to be the strong safety i was like i think i'm gonna focus on kicking and <laughs> right and i won't get hurt man I was, looking on, I was like man you know there's levels to this world and as you go up a level you oh, yeah. Like, wow. oh yeah oh yeah you yeah, yeah. It was a guy when I played Pee Wee football. It was a guy named Eric Pegram. I knew I was just you, about to bring his name up. Bro. Are you serious? Yeah. You used to play my, running back, right? Yeah, he went to North Texas and then played. That's the, right. Yeah, Eric Pegram. He back. was my off season. The coaches would be all pissy with me because they thought I had it easy. So yeah. they made him. He was my off season partner. So really, I would have to carry his muscly butt up a hill. And he'd have to carry <laughs> me up a hill, back and forth, back and forth. And I remember. He was like, always home. like, yeah. the pickup button to answer. That dude, every time I was like, he's like, what's up, dog? That, that's, they used to call him Train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, dude, I remember trying to tackle Eric Pegram, 
in a in a scrimmage. And man, I thought I had him. Yeah. And I squared up on him. And next thing I know, I was on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're facing Ran me straight over, man. Your protocol. Man. And I I remember turning turn, turning around and just see him just running. Yeah. And I'm like, what the crap? Yeah, they used to like and then they used to like we had to do like, I don't know, eight four hundreds in a row in off yeah. season. And you had to finish in a certain time and then you had like I mean literally like thirty seconds to rest and start again. And they put me with the wide receivers. Yeah. And our rest time would start when the first guy crossed the finish line. Yeah. And I got these gazelles of wide receivers that are just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, good lord, I'm halfway through, they're like, trick your yeah. balls, because you went over something, and I'd be like, me, and they're like, shut the fuck up, kicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, Eric Pieper was my off-season partner. Wow. And then, uh, and I remember we had uh, had these two wide receivers. Who, who we, did Eric play for? He, he played, played for. for that's right, the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. We had two wide receivers, and one of them was black and one of them was white. Yeah. And so we called them Salt and Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's funny, yeah, Eric, with my off-season partner. Wow, that, what a coincidence. Small world, man. You know, back in the day, you know, I used to hang out with Michael Irving and, and, uh, I mean, I met him. He introduced me to Emmett. I couldn't stand Emmett, man. Emmett had a huge ego. Yeah. Me and Emmett almost got into a fight. And uh, I told Emmett, I said, if it wasn't for Barry Sanders retiring, you would have never won Russian title holder. And he got pissed. And Mike and Mike was like, come on, Gary, man, come on. <laughs> Why you gonna say that? Yeah. I said, cause he, you know, he pissed me off, man. I'm like, he ain't shit. <laughs> it is true, though. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And we were, man, they had to separate us, man. I saw him about, probably about seven, eight years ago at this event at SportsCon. They had it at Fair Park. I had a, a little podcast at the time. And uh, he was walking by. He looked at me. So we saw each other. We, like, we dabbed, like, get the head bob. And I was like, <laughs> like yeah, I, I still don't like your ass. <laughs> we too old to be fighting now. But I was like, man, it was hilarious. I met Michael Jordan one time at a at a club. There was nobody at the in in this club. It was kind of early. I think they were playing the Mavericks the next day or something like that. And I, I'm walking around the club, and I see this guy walking toward me. I'm like, and I looked up. I'm like, oh shit, that's Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah, like, wow, and I, say? I, I I just extended my hand and shook his hand and kept walking. Like, yeah. hey man, how's it going? You know, because I wasn't like like you know into like you know trying to. I didn't never worship no guys, no sports guys or celebrities. I was never into that crap. I'm like they, 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 they put their pants on just like we, that like anybody else do. Well, I just came from uh, Carmel, California. Yeah. And I belong to a, I belong to a golf club here, but I belong yeah. to one there. Uh huh. It's this crazy like little small private golf. And, yeah. Um, and so the the guy that owns the golf course that has this massive house on it. Yeah. Is Clint Eastwood. Oh, okay. And so our member guests, you know, we call it the Clint. Yeah. And, um, and people are always just out. Like my buddies are like out of their minds. Yeah. Because I'll be sitting at the bar and he'll be sitting next to me. Yeah. And he'll be like, I remember I was there for the Super Bowl and I was watching the game at the bar and he came down and sat next to me. Yeah. Oh wow. Like one of the holes, I 
can see his big deck. Yeah, yeah. There. And I can see him out there sitting there. Yeah. He just didn't want to see anybody. Yeah. So he's kind of bummed out. Yeah. You yeah. know, when old people get bummed yeah, out yeah, like that, yeah. it yeah. can be the death of him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when somebody close to him died like that, it, it hits him hard. That's cool, man. Yeah, it's fun. Like last year, um, I don't play golf anymore, but I used to play a lot. But, but I don't play as much as I used to play. I mean, I used to play every day. My ex-wife, her her uncle used to caddy for Ben Hogan. Oh, wow. So they were a golfing family and it got me into golfing. I had a restaurant at the time when I met my ex-wife. Um, she was a, like a dancer, ballet dancer, whatever. And she used to come into our restaurant all the time. But, uh, yeah, just like everything else, there's levels to golf. My, uh, oh, yeah, my yeah. Club I belong to here in Dallas. Yeah. You know, there was just, you know, I've, I've known his family since he was like seven years old. Which club, which club you belong to uh, in Dallas? Royal Oaks. Oh, Royal Oaks, right okay. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Lane yeah, yeah, I know what Royal Oaks is. This kid, you know, he's like seven years old. And yeah. I'm always, you know, messing around with him, and I, knew, I know his mom and dad well. He, yeah. He ends up being the number one golfer in the world right yeah. now. Oh, it's wow. It's weird just sitting there getting golf balls next to him and just shooting the shit. And then all of a sudden, the weekend, you look on TV and you're like, it's so weird that he's just out there competing and he's the number one golfer in the world. Which one? What's his name? Scotty Scheffler. Oh, she okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's like unbeatable. Yeah. I, I really don't even watch television no more. So, I mean, I had owned the television in like 20 some years. So it's been on. I'm not really into a sports no more like I used to be. I watch college football. Yeah. Not like that, but I don't even watch that much. Football. I mean, it may be on, but I'm not like sitting there watching every single play. I don't really care about the yeah. Dallas Cowboys. I'm not. I yeah. Mean, I'm not originally here. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're fine. Yeah. They're just a shit show. Right, right, right. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm just. A, what you What you do for a living out there? Yeah. 
like 50, 52? Uh, 51. 51? Okay, I was close. Yeah. Make my choices, I just work my plan. You're now rocking with, rocking with the hustle man. Go home. No. I'm going home.